Genetically modified organisms, GMOs or products, are those whose genes have been changed to show a particular trait. As an example, these GMOs can be used in maize, which is a staple food in Namibia. A gene can be inserted into the maize to prevent pests from attacking the crop, resulting in larger yields for farmers. Where biosafety comes in is to ensure that the gene that is being used for, for to, 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 to cause an advantage is not also having an adverse or negative effect either to the environment, to human safety, to animal safety. The National Commission on Research, Science and Technology, NCRST, is finalizing the regulations to enforce biosafety in all relevant domains. Namibia and 11 other African countries gathered at Val... The examples that stood out for me were mostly from Ghana, who are pretty advanced in um, implementing their biosafety framework. They are dealing with uh, confined field trials with GMOs and they are also planning to soon be planting GMOs in their fields. What stood out for me or what I learned from them is the importance of institutional cooperation because biosafety affects a lot of uh, sectors. Noah Seb says many products or organisms imported into the country that are wildly used in farming may contain GMOs. Without biosafety guidelines, such products or organisms cannot be analyzed to declare them fit for consumption or the environment. Renate Ringura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.